Okay, so these videos will be <coughs> answers to a couple of questions I got. The first one is this one, find a conjugate of cycle 1, 2, 3, 4 by 5, 6. The conjugate of this by A, 2, 5 in S7. Okay, let us just remind or remind you that the conjugate, for instance, the conjugate of sigma by a, so this would be a, the conjugate of sigma by a will be phi of a sigma equal a sigma a inverse okay okay and another remark if the order of an element in a group is n okay then the inverse of a will be a to n minus 1. Okay, you can do that in a pick a set, the identity, then you put a, a squared, etc. And you will see that the inverse of a will be a to the power of n minus 1. Okay. So A here is 25, right? So I'm going to rewrite that. A is 25. So is 2, 5, sorry, is 2, 2 goes to 5 and 5 goes to 2. So the order of A is 2. This is simple. And so the inverse will be so the order of A is 2, so the inverse will be 2 minus 1, so the inverse will be the element itself. Okay? Okay, so phi, the conjugate of sigma by A, so the conjugate of sigma by a is going to be phi of 2, 5 uh, sorry it's going to be I'm going to write I'm going to use this, this sort of notation so we are going to conjugate sigma and sigma is 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4 5, 6, right? 5, 6, yes. 5 goes to 6, 6 goes to 5. By 2, 5. Okay. So, A, sigma, A inverse. So, we will have A, 2 goes to 5, the cycle. Now, sigma. So, that will be 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6 and 2, 5 the inverse ok so 2, 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 but the inverse of 2, 5 is 2, 5 ok so now you just complete the cycles here and you will get so you complete here 2 goes to 5 ok and so 5 goes to 6 so 2 goes to 6 ok it's pretty simple this ok just check the, the previous videos for this ok so this is the um, uh, 
This is the conjugate of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 by A. Now I have this, the same question. So it's still the conjugate of 1, 2, 3, 4 and the cycle 5, 6. But this time A is 2 goes to 7. And oh, okay, it's still in S7. Well, this is more or less the same as before, right? So we only have to write phi of sigma conjugate by A. So that will be phi of 27. This time A is 27. 1, 2, 3, 4. What was it? 5, 6, right? 5, 6. OK. So we have to conjugate. So that will be 27. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now the inverse of 27, 2, 7. Yeah. OK. Well, the inverse of 2, 7 is 2, 7, too, right? So this will be so two seven or two three four five six two seven inverse but the inverse is, is the same. So now you only have to 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 complete here and you will end up with something like this. Okay. So, third question, same question, but this time A is, A is what is 37, still on S7, it will be the same, right? The conjugation of sigma by A, so that will be phi of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, conjugated by 3, 7. So that will be 3, 7. Here you have this. And then the inverse. Um, and as before, the inverse of 37 is 37. So it's 3, 7. So I'm going to keep this like this, OK? Because the inverse is itself is the same. So you just write the final result. I did it quickly. I think I think this is this is okay. Okay, now next question is this one. Consider the permutation alpha. And the permutation alpha is this one. So it takes one to two, two to three, three to seven. Do not forget, just check the previous videos for this. So 1 goes to 2, right? And 2 goes to 3, so 2 goes to 3. 3 goes to 7. 4 goes to 1. Okay, so you have a bijection. 5 goes to 8. Just check that video, okay? This is the, the notation for this sort of thing, okay? Okay, so the first question is, we are asked to write alpha as a product of disjoint cycles. Well, let us try to, to build a cycle here. One goes to two, two goes to three, 3 goes to 7, and 7 goes to 4. OK. So 1, 2, 3, and 4 are here. 1, 2, 3, and 4. What about 5? 5 goes to 8. So 5 goes to 8, and 8 goes to 5. OK. And, well, 6 stays 6. So they are disjoint cycles, right? So 1, 2, 3, 7, 4. 
five eight that's another possible notation okay six is missing here so it means that six goes to six okay so here you are this permutation is written in a disjoint cycle uh, now the next question is write alpha so alpha is this permutation as a product of transpositions well as a product of transpositions we can use this right I'm going to use this one, two, three, seven, four, five, eight. Okay, now the product of transposition. So, uh, what about, for instance, one to four, one, seven, one, three, one, two, okay, and five, eight, right? I fit still missing. Okay. For transpositions. Oh, uh, write alpha as a product of transpos transpositions in two different ways. Oh, okay. I have to find some other way. One to four. One to four. One to seven. Well, well, we do f 5, 8, and we do the same here, right? 1, 7, 1, 3, 1, 2. Okay, because um, disjoint cycles, they commute. Okay, so you, you can commit here. Okay, so we wrote um, alpha as a product of transpositions. Um, okay. Uh, We can still do it in, in several different ways. For instance, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 7, 4, 5, 8. Here, 2 goes to 3, so I can start in 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 7, so I can write it this way, 5, 8. And now I can do it as 2, 1. 2, 4, 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 4. 4 goes to 2, 2 goes to 7, 7 goes to 2, so 2 goes to 3, right? And, okay, so I did it in a different way here. Um, yes, here yeah, I based on 4, okay, not hard. Okay, another way, 1, 2, 3, 7, 4, 5, 8, 1 goes to 4, 1 goes to 7, so I based on 1, and then 5, 8, and 4, 5, okay, so this is the multiplication by the jet entity, okay. So... Another question is, what is the order of alpha? What is the order of this um, permutation? Well, <coughs> we took some disjoint cycles, right? Let us call it beta <coughs> and gamma. So beta and gamma are disjoint cycles. Okay. So... the order of beta times gamma will be equal to the least common multiple of the order 
of beta and the order of gamma. So what, <clears throat> what is the order of alpha? We take disjoint cycles. So the order of the product of disjoint cycles will be the least common multiple of the order of one cycle and the order of the other cycle. So in our case, the order of alpha will be the order of the product of these two disjoint cycles. So it will be the least common multiple of the order of the cycle and the order of the cycle. So the order of the cycle obviously is 5 and the order of the cycle is 2. So the order of alpha equals the least common multiple of 5 and 2 is 10. Okay. All this is due to disjoint cycle partitions and all that sort of thing, but I'm going to explain that in another video.